Yo, what's up guys? It is your boy, Liecast. We're back again with another video. And the first thing I want to say is thank y'all. Thank you for the 100 subscribers, y'all. It really does mean a lot. Honestly, I was not expecting it. To some of y'all, it seems like a small milestone, but to me, it's a pretty big deal. So as you see, we got some Kai footage in the background. It's basically me just getting bodied by a Ramlethal. When I was picking up Good to Get Strive and I saw all the trailers and stuff, I actually wanted to main Ramlethal, but I ended up going with Kai. So a lot of y'all know me from the Kai guide. Might as well tell y'all why I play this character. And if y'all remember in that video, the first thing I said is like, this character's trash and you signed up for a path of suffering. I wasn't kidding. And so what keeps me going even when I lose it's really pride it's a it's a competitive nature i feel like if you were to play kai kisuke in the current environment with him having so many useful useless tools i'm sorry a dragon stall that does nothing your recovery on a projectile is bad i feel like the only reason you play this character is either a you really like him or b you're competitive to where like you're going to make what you like work because if you were to pick a character that plays the game for you you just wouldn't have fun i'm one of those people i don't have fun when i pick a character like i said i want to main ram and i played her and i just felt like i'm not even fighting the person it almost feels like i'm fighting the computer and it's not because of them and that they're bad it's just that she gives me so much and that's why i chose kai over her and even though i do end up losing on occasion i'll keep it a buck with you i do end up getting tilted but what keeps me calm is that i know that i chose this route i could pick a high tier character and i don't have to deal with any of this but i don't do it because i know i lose my sense of self and so this is why the advice just pick a top tier bro it doesn't really fly with me because i feel like players like us are underappreciated because we rise to a certain level of competence and we make the game interesting if people were robots and we all pick the top tier then at high level you would just see nothing but soul bad guys and it'll be a mirror match every single time if y'all remember i don't remember what year but in wii u bayonetta days they had a wii u evil tournament where they had like six bayonettas in top eight now imagine if that was every single year nobody would tune in people would get bored but it's because of players like us that we have hype moments that tekken 7 tour where ranchu the panda won 50 seconds oh he hit heaven's gate the ball. other no. side be careful one more you can end oh. it here q dance oh, so no I'm a punish. we have a animal of a champion here uh panda <laughs> panda <laughs> you see what i'm talking about it's players like us i know not everybody's gonna get it and if you have a unique perspective please share it down in the comment section below i'm interested in to hear your thoughts but that's just the type of player i am and i'm gonna keep grinding it out this way because it's fun to me the next part i want to get into is that what is this channel even about what are you even subscribed to i know if you look at my channel it says I'm just a Guilty Gear channel or it looks that way. I'm more than that. I plan to cover fighting games as a whole, specifically new ones. So the next game I'm looking forward to is the new Melty Blood game because that game looks sick, bro. It looks nice. And I played the old one, so I'm excited for this one. We're going to be covering that. And then I also want to tackle RPGs on the channel. And I'm a big fan of the Trails in the Sky series. If y'all don't know what that is, don't even worry about it. I'll may, you'll know what it is if you follow me. So I'm going to post a video one or two videos every single week is what i can do right now and i don't want to leave my channel like dry when i left it for two weeks without content to make a big guide so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be posting more matches and not only will this give me footage for when i'm making a guide but it'll also keep you guys entertained at the same time for me to get a backlog for me to release a big video like the flow charts so that's what this channel is going to be about all righty now let's get into the q and a section of the video the first question comes from someone called mr tedious and he says lol great video nice surprise with the awesome guests question two parts has there ever been a time someone made you cry in a fighting game all right bro i see you trying to get me to embarrass myself on youtube but i'll, I'll answer your question yes actually yes now it's been a while so i can't remember when but i feel like if you're a teenager and you play fighting games and you take them seriously somewhat i think there will become a point to where if you're a competitive person 
you will get upset or you may cry or you may bust out and throw a controller everybody has a different reaction i have never been the person to get really mad and throw throw and break something i've never broken anything that way i i, I take everything internally so yes there has been a time when i uh cried when i was younger and it comes from being frustrated at the situation uh because you want to win and it's not happening and so you get sad and you get depressed. But as I got older, I've come to realize nothing comes to you by feeling sorry for yourself all day. So I, you have to snap out of it. You have to catch yourself and you just got to keep going, bro. Now, I know that sounds cringy because we're talking about video games. But for me at the time, that was an important life lesson. The second question I want to get into is from Shahrazad Abdullah. Needed, needed some new stuff. Your Kai guide helped me all the way to floor eight. Now things are a bit trickier. I need to improve more. Need like general pressure and block strings. So I'm glad I was able to be helpful to you. And you're at floor eight and you need like general pressure. So I'm going to give you the rule of thumb. This is the TLDR version. I'll go more in depth on the flow charts part two for different ways you can do block strings. But the TLDR is that you want to find moves in your move list so go to dustloop.com look at kai kisuke and look for moves that are plus on block i can tell you two of them right now for kai it's 6k and 214k when they're in shock state and you'll be plus four on both of those after they block that so find ways to gatling into those moves and now that they've blocked it either go for a throw go for a high low or go for um, um another frame trap okay so you can do 6K and to close slash, right? And repeat it. And what you're trying to do is that you're trying to get them to press a button so you can hit them with the frame trap. And if they're respecting you too much after they block the 6K, you can go for a throw. Now that's just TLDR. There is more two block strings than that, but that's the basic rule of thumb. And you're also at floor eight and the game has evolved a little bit from that guy that I've made. People are starting to understand Kai because he wasn't that complicated in the first place. So now would be a good time for you to understand your opponent's characters so you will understand how to move in the neutral and move within the match. Okay. But more importantly, you're on stick, you're learning stick, is you're gonna drop some stuff, you're gonna get frustrated, you're gonna lose because you know you messed up in this area and whatnot. Because I remember you this was two weeks ago, you talked about you learning stick, and I gave you I think I gave you my input thing. So, yeah, bro, it's going to require some grinding, but keep up the work and keep up the faith. At this stage of the game, you're going to have to learn and you need to believe in yourself, bro. I know it sounds corny because we're talking about video games, but believe in yourself and you will definitely get past this floor eight area because this is where a lot of people are stuck right now. And you can get celestial, bro. You, you'll definitely get there. Trust me. And with that being said, that was only the, the two questions I had. I mean, I only got 100 subs. I wasn't expecting everybody and their mama to come ask me a question, right? So I get that. The That is the end of the Q&A section, and that's basically the end of this video. And the next time I'll do one is every time we hit a milestone. So every time we hit a mile, we'll sit down and talk for a while. Absolutely. Oh, and if you're new, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, Y'all have a good one. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Not y'all have a good one. Alright bro, I'm about to head out.